In this video, I want to show you guys a new status bar for Windows 11, which is actually pretty good compared to the ones that I have used in the past. So this is called YASP or yet another status bar. So this is a free and open source project at GitHub. With this, you'll get the top bar or status bar on Windows 11, just like you get in Mac OS or Linux. If you have ever used Mac OS or Linux, you know what status bar is and you get a lot of widgets and stuff like that. To install this, you can go to this official GitHub page first. And then first, what I recommend you guys to do is actually download and install the fonts. <laughs> okay, without these, you won't be able to see the icons uh, at the top that you see here. I actually installed it without the fonts and I was confused for almost day or two. Why can't I see the icons? They are all square or something. So later I found out that I need to install fonts first, then the icons will work. I actually installed the JetBrains one, which says recommended. So yeah, whichever you prefer, uh, you either install the nerd fonts or JetBrains and it will work on Windows 10 or 11. Okay, to install this, you can just go to releases page, download this and install it. So once you install it, just launch it and it will give you the top bar or a status bar. This isn't the default theme actually. So another good thing about this is that you can get themes for it. So click on this icon to show the hidden icons. Then you'll see the yes icon there, right click on it and there you'll see a option get themes. Then it will open a theme store, okay, or theme gallery. And here you can actually install many different themes for it. For example, I really like this one, Spectrum Symphony. Just click on install, you'll see the theme will change and it will look different. So look at that, okay. So we also have the download and upload speed. In the center, we see whatever we have opened or highlighted. So right now, task manager so it will show you the task manager at the top so we have another themes like for example this one yeah this is like minimal simple one couple of shortcuts here with the name file basically file explorer when you click on it uh, terminal basically it will open terminal notepad it will open notepad let's try this one yes dynamic one let's click on install let's see how that one looks uh, and each theme has different widgets enabled by default so this one has some icons actually so we have search it will open the windows search yeah we have task manager i think yeah it's the task manager second one terminal and after that we have the uh discord and firefox let's let's open the firefox actually yeah you can actually customize these too uh, you have to edit the uh, config file so let me show you guys how you can do that. So right click on the yes icon and then click on open config. Okay. And it will open a config file location. Here you'll see a config file here. You can right click and edit with any code editor or text editor. So default one is the notepad. So let's use the notepad. <laughs> Why not? And here you can change many things about this. Okay, you, you'll need a little bit of knowledge or you can go back to the GitHub page and scroll down until you see the list of currently available widgets in YASP. Okay, so these are all the widgets that you can add to this status bar basically. And you can click on these widgets name to know how to use this actually. So it will give you the demo, how to use it and all that. So here you can see, this is how you can add apps to the status bar, just like this one. So you can actually, you know, fully customize this and make your own uh, status bar with your own theme and all that, which might take some time and you need to learn how to use these widgets and how to add these widgets and all that. You can also add your custom image actually. So look at that instead of the icons. This dynamic one and uh, spectrum one look really good because they have more apps already you know added here. I think this one looks the best because of the colors and it looks minimal. You can also combine this status bar with tiling window manager. Uh, if you go into the github page here you can see in widgets section you can use something called Como Rebi 
I don't know if that's how you say it. Uh, I think this is the one, a tiling window manager for windows. So if you want to use a tiling window manager with the status bar, you can use this one. So in widgets section, you can see it supports Komorebi. That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye.